Hey guys, this is Red Frost, and I have more Warlords of Draenor here for you. So I just created a new monk character, and I want to show this off. This little screen here, what's new, is for new players, or well, practically anyone who's new to Warlords of Draenor, so that they know what's up with all the changes within World of Warcraft. You can actually see this from the main menu, but oh boy. Dark portal. So we have a quest. But we'll get to that in a moment. For now, let me just get out of the way here. Because there's plenty of people. Oddly enough, I have a rather good connection here. I did not expect this. What with the amount of people going around. But there's something else I want to show you guys. But for that, I need to lower the volume. Okay. No volume? Alright, so let's go to my mount. And let me look for a flying... Oh! Okay, so apparently the favorites are account-wide. I'll get to that in a moment. Let's use this for now. Okay, I want to get away from everyone. And see if I can show you guys a little something... Yay! Achievement! Woohoo! Okay, so... Uh, oh, there's a guy over there. This should do fine. Alright. There's one thing... Well, actually, let me, let me take care of that. Interface... Uh, what was it? Social? No. Display. Show helm. Alright. There's a little something I discovered while playing around with this that I really enjoy. Listen to this. I know you can barely hear it. But it's there. The footsteps. They sound different. They actually sound like hooves, sort of. It's only one problem, though. It doesn't change. You know how before you could walk on wood and it would sound different and you could walk on dirt and it would sound different. It doesn't hear. But it does sound different. I mean, it doesn't actually sound like boots or whatever. It sounds like hooves. I love that. Oh, and apparently my weapon is... Uh, <laughs> is broken so I'm gonna have to fix that how can it be broken I just got it huh wait it's big oh this is the one that's wait what oh yeah it is broken that's odd I just made this character looking for something special yeah yeah repair my stuff goodbye okay now these are the bags right you recognize the bags and actually give me a sec let me just update something on my recorder here okay there we go now you can see my mouse now as you can see they've added a new button here for the inventory click this button to clean up your bags so essentially let's say my inventory is full of stuff and I want to organize it a little bit better what do I do I just click this button and it organizes my bags. Now you might say, "Oh, but wait a minute! I don't want it to stack up like that. I want the, I want my equipment in a separate bag so I know where it is." Well, tell you what. How about we make this bag the equipment bag, and let's sort it again. There we go. Everything that's gear, it's in this bag now. And in fact, oh wait, that's a staff. Wait, then where's my other? I can't wield that yet. Oh, right. I forgot. I don't have talents. Uh, Windwalker. Yes. Ha ha! So I put this here. There we go. He's a torn monk. Oh, but he kind of looks pissed. Now, 
you know how normally in these sort of circumstances when you want to change the appearance of your character you have to pay 25 bucks to blizzard so that you can well remake him right well here's the thing oh this is another thing with the mounts you can go through your list most of these I don't have oh, I would love to have this and this and all sorts of other stuff but we'll get to that a little bit a little later. Let's say you have a mount that you're particularly fond of. Like, uh, well, like this. Wait, no, where is it? The, uh, the Time Loss Proto Drake. Look at that. Ah, yes. And you'll not be able to access it quickly. You don't want to have to type Time Lost or Time or Proto Drake all the time. So you just do this. You right click. You sit as a favorite, and now, it's at the top of the list! But you look at that! And if you have these mounts here, and you can't decide which one you want to use, just click on this button. In fact, put it right here. See? And it'll summon a random favorite mount. So I have three mounts set to, ra to uh, favorites. Let's click the button, and... We got the Time Lost Proto Drake. What if I press it again? I get the time loss proto drake. Okay, let's try that one more time. Okay, the buttons the buttons messed up. Okay, the buttons messed up. Let, let's do a little something. Let's get the um Okay, let's try this. Set favorite. Let's try the oh the night saber. The nightwing, sorry. Set favorite. Let's try the um, Swift Sulian Tire, which I've n I n was never able to get. Okay, we have a nice variety there. Albino. Wait, didn't I have the green? Oh boy, there's a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, let's try this. Set to favorite. Uh, okay, it's not green. It's emerald, I think. Emerald. There we go. Yeah, sure, why not? Set the favorite. Oh, this thing too. Not that one. <laughs> okay, so I have a few more favorites. Let's try that again. Huzzah! Mount special. Yay! So, anyway, let's say I want to change the appearance of my character. Usually, if I go to the barber shop, I'm only able to change the hair, uh, the color, the horns. In the case of a Tauren troll, I can change the skin. Well, guess what, everyone? The shares are... Oh, there they are. Things have changed. As you... Uh, okay, okay, let's... Okay, there we go. As you can see, we have horn style, horn color, facial hair, skin color... And face. We can actually change the face of our character. Look at that. And I know I'm going to take advantage of this. Because I have a Tauren uh, Paladin. That I really want to change his face. Let's try... Yeah, that'll do. Holy crap, 32 go... Well, it is a level 90 character. Sure, why not? While we're at it, let's change the skin. The well, not the skin, the fur. Let's dye our fur. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Woohoo! Achievement. And there you have it, folks. I changed his face, and didn't have to pay twenty-five bucks. Isn't that great? Our ancestors be praised. Of course, it's great. Now, while we're on the topic of uh, UI changes, there's a couple of things that I want to show you guys. Now, you saw me select the Windwalker specialization for this particular monk. Okay, so we have the classic abilities here. Well, actually, no, we're missing one specific thing. I'm going to put this over here. Uh, what's this? Okay, I'm going to put that over here. This goes over here. Yeah, I'm gonna put this over here. 
Uh. Oh, and by the way, I'm a clicker, so you know. Don't judge. It's just my way. Face of Fear is fine there. I'm gonna change this. Actually, uh, yeah, I, I need talents. So, celerity, she wave, power strike. Yeah, power strike. Uh, ooh, leg sweep. Healing elixirs. Yeah, healing elixirs and invoke Zuin. Okay, so I have all that stuff. Invoke Zuin over here. Leg sweep over here. And I still need a few talents. But here's the thing, right? I've chosen my, my primary talents. But you think, oh, wait a minute, I'm level 90. I need glyphs. Well, here's the thing. Oh, wait. Never mind. I forgot this is a pre made character. He has all the glyphs. <laughs> wow. What a way to ruin <laughs> the. Uh, what a way to ruin the reveal. Okay, basically, all I wanted to show you guys was that as you're leveling, your character will actually automatically learn uh, some of these. Uh, glyphs. Now you might think, oh sure, if you do that, all you're gonna do is uh, ruin it for uh, the um, the glyph makers. The uh... crap, I forget what they're called. Everybody also always calls them by the wrong name. Uh, the not enchanters, the uh, scribes. Yeah, the scribes. <sighs> Instant. Let's see what tower you own in white tower, increasing strength. Oh right, that goes here. And where's my other buff? Hey, where's my bell? Oh, you took my bell away, didn't you? Hey, what's this? What the Why is this here? I really need to uh I really need to read the patch notes. This is, <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm missing so many things. So where's my bell? I can't... No, I can definitely do this. Sure. I can taunt. But wait a minute. Is there any... No, that's fine. And apparently... Okay. There's another interrupt. I'll put that there. Spinning crane kick. Very important. Actually, I'm going to put this over here. Set, put this there we go so on and so forth so as you can tell oh they changed the the icon for this nice actually since this is a healing spell I might as well put it over here yeah this is good this is good fortifying brew like this there you guys see brew everything else here appears to be in order Well, almost. <laughs> okay, there we go. So yeah, I'm missing a buff. What's going on? Either they changed it to uh, like a leveling thing, or I don't know. I'm not seeing it here. At least I'm not seeing the the icon for it. So they have changed a bunch of stuff for the different characters. Now this is only for monks and oh actually no you don't gain anything else unless let's see uh, increase your honor with a white tire increases strength agility oh so they changed it so now you don't get that particular buff but you get this instead it doesn't increase mastery it actually gives you what the other one used to give you um, so it replaces it that's interesting. Nice little casting animation there. Alright, that'll do for now.
Okay, now here's a little something. You will notice that the bulletin board looks a little bit different here. It has an outline now. Why does it have an outline? Because it's an important quest hub sort of thing. So these are all... What's this? Uh, yeah, these are all from Cataclysm. Yeah, all these are from Cataclysm. We don't really need to do them. But you will notice that the quest bar over here looks a little bit different. And in fact, if you open up the map, the map itself is different. So let's see what we got here. You can quickly navigate to different maps by using the drop-down menu. You can also view all your quests by clicking World. So right now I only have that quest, but let's do a little something. Let's go ahead and grab all these things. And we'll do... Yes, because it's pronounced Old Doom. Zandalari Menace. And yeah, that'll do it. So we have a bunch of quests now. We open up the map. According to this, if we click on World, it'll show us show us all the quests. Now, these are the quests that we can do from here. And also this one, because this one, we have to speak to a giant Cadgar that's over by the uh, Valley of Strength. But we'll get to that a little bit later. So if we go like this, oh, it's the same quest. Oh no, wait, here we go. The uh, Warchief's Command will doom, because that's over here in Tanaris. If we go back to Orgrimmar, and we look over in Orgrimmar, it's not listed here. So now you can actually get a feel as to what are all the quests you have pending without having to even look over here. You can just look here in the map, figure out where you have to go, and you take it from there. Neat. And of course, this also includes everything from Outland, Draenor, and Azeroth, which for people who are doing Lore Master and things like that, it's extremely useful. Hello, orc. You're an orc. A nice-looking orc. They even upgraded the armor for the Orgrimmar grunts. So yeah, another thing that they changed for the uh, beta is this. You'll notice that aside from the uh, the bulletin board, we also have this aura on top of this orc. This is only if you mouse over him, though. In a sen essentially, it's easier to identify quest givers... Uh, NPC, NPCs, um, player characters, hostile characters, neutral characters, just by mousing over them. And it's easier to identify them this way, see? That one's neutral. And honor. So there we go. Sub -sub. Strength. Now, this is something that you can actually change within the interface. I believe it's under display... No, it's somewhere else. I believe it's system or something. Graphics, advanced... No, it's somewhere else. I'll need to check up on that. Let me get back to you on that, but for now, this is something that a lot of people will probably be interested in. If you see, if you look at this work, You'll notice he's using the new model. Now, there's some people out there that actually don't like the new character models. That's why we have this option here for. If you take the check off, uh, the check mark off, we're back to the old, ugly-looking thing that was the old character models. Some people might do this for frame rate. Some people might do this for nostalgia. But if you're like me and you like the new models, you'll probably just leave that on. And it changes everyone back to the new high-res models. Neat, huh? Okay, guys, I found what I was looking for. So there's an outline mode. So essentially, that's what gives us this outline effect on different NPCs and player characters and such. If you ever want to change this, you can just change it so that whenever you mouse over and target... What you looking for? It does the outline. How you do it, man? So as you can see, it stays there. And oh, I got sticky 
No, I don't. Huh. <laughs> That's interesting. So under display, we got that. Oh, there we go. For What's some reason, for some reason, didn't click. What the? You come get the voodoo. Okay, I think that's a slight bug. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, you gotta do that or done. So you can keep it as vanilla WoW. Greetings, man. Or rather, as is on default. So if you leave it on default, whenever you mouse over a character, you'll get a green outline. Which is not bad. I believe this sort of thing can actually help you when you're doing one of those quests where you're surrounded by people and you're trying to click on one particular NPC or quest giver or something and you can't find them in the crowd and then you go, well, whatever the green thing's on him, maybe I can click on him and there you go. Something to think about. Something else that you can do. And... No, you did not get it on yourself, just in case you were wondering. Buff! Okay, so you've seen some of the changes to the mount system. So now you have these different mounts that you can set to favorite. So you can pick up them whenever you want. Let's go down the list. Where are the... Do I have the... Oh, and here's the other thing. You can actually see which mounts you haven't gotten. And in some cases, some of them will tell you how to get them. Like the Warlord's Death Wheel. That's what they're calling it? Awesome! For the Horde! So yeah, I actually have these. I don't know why. Well, I don't have this one. I don't know what the hell this is. Oh, PvP vendor. Never mind. So yeah, you can actually see where some of these mounts uh, come from. Which ones are alliance specific. Which ones are up here which ones of these are horde specific so on and so forth hell I don't even think oh yeah legacy yeah this this mount doesn't even exist anymore the tan right camel tells you where to get if it has a cost it'll tell you right here if it's a drop it'll also tell you Z you get it from Zulguru from High Priestess Kildara I actually know someone or knew someone rather that had this mount I hate him for it so, yeah. Pull on from Timeless Isle. So on and so forth. So if you're a mount collector, this is going to come in very useful. And I've wanted this mount for, like, forever. Could never get it. I'm still trying to get it. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. But enough about that. So... This is how the mounts work. And as you can see, they all have flavor text now. It tells you about the mount. It's very nice. The pet journal, for the most part, hasn't changed. It's all pretty much the same. You can set your favorites. You can pop out your little uh, pet here. <laughs> the only real difference here is that whenever you do... Uh, pet battles you now uh, you actually now can't see damage numbers and such as you're battling you you actually get combat text I haven't trained pet battling on this guy so this is something I'll probably feature in a future video but I know that the one thing you guys are really waiting for is this the toy box now if I want to use any of these toys all I have to do is right click on them and it's account wide, so any toy I might have on one character, I can get on the rest of the characters. All the toys that I currently don't have appear grayed out, but if I mouse over them, it'll actually tell me where to get them. Which is actually rather cool. Uh, but let's say I want to go to something that's on page 10. I don't have to click all the way over there, I can actually mouse wheel. In fact, it tells you right there. I could actually mouse wheel all the way to page 11, or 10 in this case. And I have all my toys. Now, let's say I love to play with... Uh, no, not that. That's not bad. Let's see, there's another toy. I forget what it's called. Ah, here we go. I love this toy. 
But I don't want to go to page 5 every time I want to play with this. So, I say as a favorite. And let's say I love... Let's see. Alliance only. It even has restrictions, of course. Let's see... Uh, no, not that. Oh, yes. This. Favorite. And... Yeah, that'll do. The Ogre Piñata, or with the Cinderai. Pandaren Brew Pack. Okay. Those are all my favorites. So now, they're all stacked up on the first page. Because they're my favorites. So if I want to play with them, I just go like this. And there we go. Anyone want some bubblegum? Yippee! Okay, that's enough. Well, maybe a few more. I can't carry any more of those. Okay, fine, fine. All right, and there we go. So I have them over there. But let's say I want to sort it again, like I did before. I just go like this, and it puts it over there. So everything is nice and neat. So let's eat some bubble gum. And this, uh, this ogre pijana, I got from my good friend Chapito. <laughs> Bubble gum. So a call out to him. Now, let's say I want to play with something else. I got the Hosen beach ball, and now I'm ready for the beach. See, I got my shovel. In a bucket to build a sandcastle. And I'm already very wet. Hush you. And we go around and do that and whatever. And as always, I can always remove the buffs up here. Maybe I want to be a blood elf instead. Whoops. Left click. There we go. So now I turn into a blood elf. It, it has all the same cooldowns and everything. All the same features that you would have if you had the item in your inventory. Except, it's not in your inventory. It's in your toy box. And it's not using up any valuable space that you'd normally be using. In order to enjoy these cute, cute, little fun things. Woohoo! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think we're going to crash. Oh, crap! Oh, well. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> Bubble gum. Okay, so enough with about those things. What about going into dungeons and such? Well, we always had the group finder, which is right here. But we also have this now. We have Pre-Made Group Finder. The Pre-Made Groups tab is a directory of groups who are looking for more people. So essentially, this is your classic looking for group. But it's geared for pre-made groups. Let's say I have a few guildies I want to do stuff with. I call them over, we make a group, but we need more people. So we just do this. And here you get a whole series of things that you can do. Be it dungeons, let's see, heroics, classic dungeons, look at that. Well, in this case, it's a revamped version of a, of a classic dungeon. A random Mr. Pandora heroic, random Warlords of Draenor dungeon. So you can do that for... Questing. Oh, actually, I was looking at the dungeon finder. Duh. Yeah, the pre-made groups you can do for questing, dungeon scenarios, raids from Mr. Pandaria, legacy raids like, let's say, Serpent Shrine Caverns, or maybe even Ice Crown Citadel, or you can make your custom group. Raid finder, as it stands, well, I'm level 90 on this character, so I can actually still do some of the level 90 stuff, including Siege of Orgrimmar LFR. But, once I level up, 
go to level 91, and so on and so forth, till level 100, I'm not going to be able to do these old dungeons. So, that being the case, what do I do? Simple. Well, first of all, you go to the Shrine of Two Moons. From here... Um... From here... Ah, there we go! From here, we visit... The Lore Walkers. Now, as you recall, Lore Walker Cho has the ability to show you some nice little cutscenes telling you the story of Pandaria and things like that. But now, aside from him, there's also these three, three people. Let's meet them. This is Lore Walker Fu. The scenario storyteller. Mm -hmm. He will let you visit the Mr. Pandaria scenarios. And you can solo queue with them, or you can go in a group if you want. Goodbye. This is Lore Walker Shin. You have the eyes of one who has traveled much. <clears throat> in this case, he will let you go into old heroic scenarios. And probably the one that you you'll most be interested in is Lore Walker Han. Family, what do you friends, see? food. These are what matter most. Yeah. Anyway, I sing of arms and a man who. Oh, um, you are not quite ready for this one. Return when you have experienced more of the world. So yeah, basically this guy is the Raid Finder storyteller. It let he let you go into the Raid Finder uh, modes of all the Mr. Pandaria raids. Uh, so you can queue up solo or with a group if you want. Uh, and also, it lets you go into Dragon Soul Raid Finder. Now, you might be wondering, why the hell would I want to go into Dragon Soul Raid Finder? Simple. The gear. For the longest time, during Miss of Pandaria, people have been complaining. So, what if I go into Pandaria, I can't go back to Dragon Soul and queue up for LFR and it just so happens that the gear in LFR is the right color for my transmog set. What do I do then? Well... Slow down. Life is to be savored. Well, you couldn't really do anything until now. Now you can talk to this guy and you'll be able to go back up there. No problem. And being a level 100, I seriously doubt Deathwing is going to be that much of a, an issue. Okay guys, I was actually going to show you something else, but then this cut my eye. Look at that! So that's the <laughs> the flying cloud, or the disc as some people call it. Apparently they changed the graphic for it. I'll have to test that in a moment. But for now, what I really wanted to show you was this. So let's go visit the bank. You are most welcome. Yeah, so my bank is full. And I mean, like, really full. And I'm actually going to take this because I want to show you guys something else with that. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I, I, I like to get stuff and I, I don't like to throw stuff away. But, I mean, what else can I do? It's the sort of thing that I enjoy. I don't like throwing stuff away because I can use this for transmog. And, in fact, I'm using it for transmog right now. Or uh, maybe I could use this thing or... Actually, no, I think about it, that thing's ugly as hell. But, no, maybe I can use this one. See, that? that's a nice bow. <clears throat> and let's say I want to change my helmet. I want to use this helmet instead because I like the color of it. Or maybe even this one. Well, here's the thing. Actually, I really like how that looks with the new character model. But anyway, let's say most of this stuff, like this, the ghost iron, I don't really need that to clutter off space. If only there was a place I could store all that stuff and get more space 
for my own items. Well, that's where this comes in. The reagent bank. You just purchase it for 100 gold. Again, this is beta, so this price may change. <clears throat> okay, now I have all this space for reagents. So all you really have to do is click on this button. But before I do that, let me show you this. Oh my god, did you see that? It went from 20 to 40. And now... <gasps> It went up to 60! What's going on? Well, it just so happens that Blizzard changed this so that from now on, uh, all crafting reagents stack to 200. But let's say I don't really want to go through this and go, oh, I want to put this here, I'll put this over here. No, just click on the button. And there you go. Everything that you use as a reagent, anything that you use to there we go can I there we go we also have this to organize the bank look at that isn't that efficient awesome and look at all the space I I only had like what two slots available no, I had 22 I know it's not that much but hey it's a start right it's a start so yeah it, all the reagents I can use over here and in fact may the red crane live forever in your heart thank you so let's try a little something this particular character of mine is an engineer now if you recall i put all my reagents in the bank suddenly i decide oh wait a minute where's my engineering uh here we go suddenly i decide i want to make one of jarred's peculiar energy sources because i want to make uh, one of the pets oh no I left all the my reagents in the bank. You know what? It's not a problem. You now have complete access to your reagents directly from your bank. It's it's amazing. You don't have to carry stuff around. You can put them in the bank and suddenly if you're somewhere and decide, hey, I want to craft something. Well, guess what? You have the necessary materials. You just don't have them on you. Go ahead and create them. Isn't that wonderful, guys? But anyway, besides that, there's something else I wanted to show you. Remember how I said that I wanted to turn off the music so you could actually hear what's going on around us? Well, here's the thing. Let's see. Level 90 train dummy? Sure. This is a bow. It's transmogged as a bow. I go like this. That, that sounds different, doesn't it? That's not the sound of a bow I'm used to. Well, let's try something a little bit different. Let's try this rifle. Oh, but Red Frost. Those rifles sound awful. Do they? Oh, right. I forgot I had the... Where is it? Yeah, the flintlocks woodchucker. That's a completely different sound. A lot less annoying. Easier to listen to. It's just so good. You know, I might actually transmog rifles now. It's so nice. Or I could always go back to the bow. And you can actually hear the string being pulled that is so awesome that's just great so if this is changed imagine all the other stuff that you thought was annoying in game how will it sound now you can just imagine all that is coming and much more Ah, my mage deck sucks. But anyway, let's say you have other toys in your inventory that aren't part of the toy box. Simple. You just open your inventory, look for the toy, which I left in my bank. <laughs> okay, that wasn't so smart. 
Uh, yeah. I have this thing, but this is already in my toy box. See? So, I can actually get rid of this. But, oh no! Red Frost, you got rid of your thing! It doesn't matter, because it's actually already in my toy box. And I can look it up here. If I can find it. And there it is! And I can use it! No problems! You can never lose anything anymore. Okay, here we go. This is what I was looking for. The mini mana bomb from uh, the Cata wait, sorry, the Pandaria pre-event, sort of, from the uh, you know the uh, scenario, the Theramore scenario. Now, this thing you could only get with characters that actually completed the scenario. Not anymore. I learned that. And if I check my toy box... Go away. Uh, let's see... Is there a search? Yes. And there it is. And you can even see it says new when there's a new toy. So you just grab that and... Woohoo! There you go. Three minute cooldown. And you can actually use that on all your characters because all that you see here is completely uh, account bound. So there you go. And just to finish up the video, here's the red flying cloud mount. And apparently, yes, they updated the graphics for it. Look at that. Whee! Now that's fancy. So there you go, folks. A brief look at some of the UI changes within... Oh, look at that. You can even see the outline through the cloud. That's going to be really useful when there's a bunch of people on launch day trying to do their quests. <laughs> okay, so one last thing before I go. You've already seen some of the improvement to the UI. Which is great. But there's one last little thingy I want to show you guys that I think some of you might actually appreciate. Look at my character's cape. It's 3D, pretty much. It doesn't cling to the body. Now it actually flows <coughs> like a cape. Ouch. Okay, that kind of sucked. See? Now that's nice. It actually feels more real. It feels like actual cloth. It feels like all the animations are so much better. Everything that you do is so much smoother. It's just great, guys. Everything I've seen so far for Warlords is amazing. But, tell you what. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and do the actual testing we're supposed to be doing right now. And head to the Dark Portal and see what's waiting for us on the other side in Tanan. So until then, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.